We sent reporter Esme Murphy to South Florida to help us get a better understanding of what residents there are going through. Esme is joining us live now from Homestead, Florida. Esme, what are you seeing down there? Well, Amy, the devastation here is just so unbelievable. It's very difficult to capture even with a television camera because a television camera can look one way at one direction at one picture at one time. What you see when you are down here is that in every direction for miles and miles along the highways are homes and businesses that are completely destroyed, people wandering about aimlessly looking for help. Right now we are standing in one of the very few medical facilities that exists in Southern Dade County. This is actually a setup inside the library of a middle school and just a few minutes ago they wheeled out a woman who was in her final stages of labor. She was having contractions that were only a very short time apart. They had her up on some tables, two library tables, for a couple of hours and they've decided because she was having some complications to try and move her to a real hospital, but that could be several hours. It's that kind of thing. The individual suffering here is remarkable. Behind me is nearly one million dollars worth of donated medicines from around the country. Donations are pouring into the South Florida area, but nowhere are they needed more than here in Homestead. Around the city of Homestead, the Army stands guard, M-16s in hand, guarding against looters. The main highway into Homestead, US-1, is a highway of despair and devastation. As Army helicopters fly overhead, refugees pluck through boxes of clothing as guardsmen merely look on. A quarter of a million people are still homeless. Three quarters of a million people, roughly the population of Minneapolis and St. Paul combined, remain without power. Today, these relief supplies arrived from Minneapolis-St. Paul, collected by employees of Page Abjet. Those Minnesotans who gave got a big thank you here. No electricity, no water. We do have phone. Will you be able to use these supplies from Minnesota? Oh, very much so. Us and a lot of people in the company that live down there near us will. It's, it's a great help. Carrie Gable's house was completely demolished. The Minnesota relief supplies are the first she's gotten. But I'm very upset about the government hasn't been doing that much. I don't see it in my neighborhood. That comment is very typical of what we are hearing down here. People here are extremely critical of the government response and particularly critical of President Bush. And while obviously what people down here have to deal with are the human repercussions of this disaster, President Bush in the long term will probably have to deal with some political repercussions. Florida is the fourth most populous state. It has gone Republican in most presidential elections. And it does not look as if President Bush is faring too well here in popularity polls in the aftermath of this disaster. As for the relief effort, several people here have stopped me and said, where are you from? And I said, Minneapolis, St. Paul. And they said, please tell the people how bad it is, how much we are suffering. For example, one of the things that they are treating here in this very hospital facility are children who have come who have not had drinking water, clean drinking water for days, so they are dehydrated. Other children have been drinking unsanitary drinking water. People are actually going to the bathroom in the streets here. It is a very, very serious situation. People here are now worried about a widespread outbreak of typhoid and other major illnesses. Back to you, Amy, in Minneapolis. Wait, Esme, it's really hard for us to fathom what they're dealing with, I mean, in this country. Do, do you sense the relief efforts are being a little bit better coordinated now that we're a little further into it, that things from the other states like Minnesota are getting to the people they need to get to? Well, Amy, some supplies are reaching people, but there are rural pockets that have not gotten any relief at all. There is a coordination problem. The Secretary of Transportation, Andrew Carter, who was coordinating the relief effort, said publicly today that he's missing 120,000 ready-to-eat meals that the Army shipped down here. He simply doesn't know where they are. So there are huge logistical problems, and people are not getting the help they need. It's got to be a nightmare. Thanks very much, Esme, in Homestead, Florida.